Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube video. This video is in a continuation of my previous video. This one where I have explained how can we move attachment that are added to node section in Dynamics CRM to Azure blob using Microsoft Flow. The link of this video is provided in the description of this video. I request you to watch that video before watching this video. Now in this video I further would like to demonstrate how to fetch nodes and attachment detail that are stored in Azure blob and display within Dynamics CRM. So let me take you to Dynamics CRM screen. Okay, This is my contact entity and I am here on Webin Jaswal contact and I have already tested with couple of attachment here you can see I am using web resource here to display notes and set notes detail and attachment details this detail is stored in my custom entity let's go to my custom entity this is custom entity as you can see uh, regarding entity is contact and the grid is same we have five attachments stored for this particular contact and this is the contact where I am showing here so we have five attachments here okay now I am going to use another contact this John Smith as is having no attachment record so it is displaying no record form so let's go quickly and add a sim simple attachment here Just add Excel file. Done. Okay, we'll wait for a few minutes to get this data synchronized into Azure Blob. We have Azure Storage Explorer also open here. Okay. Just I'm going to refresh last record is oh we have got some record over here let's check okay this is not that record but let's go and check uh, in dynamic crm in custom entity and even this nodes section would be gone from here you see this is gone and if i just reload this frame You can see the nodes and attachment is here, listed here. If I go to my custom entity, if I refresh the grid, I see a different grid of a contact here, which which belongs to John contact. All right, the web frame which I have added on the contact form is simply by this insert web resource okay now I would like to just walk you through the code stuff which is quite easy I hope <laughs> it's not much okay so so here is simple body I have one div tag and one table okay and on load I am invoking resource on load method so let's go on resource on load method in resource on load method I'm simply initializing few dynamic CRM stuff like client URL and XRM object as well as I am fetching entity ID and entity set name and then I'm passing both the things to get attachment details and in this method get attachment detail I am using XML HTTP request to fetch the records from custom entity which are from entity type and entity ID this is my filter clause once I get this ID detail I am using another method to pass the result in the bind data grid result I am using some tweak of JavaScript as well as HTML to display the result 
if the result is nothing then i'm just simply saying no record found otherwise i'm just going through a loop and use using a dynamic html building and displaying within a div tag okay the important thing to notice over here is like the file link is a hyperlink okay let's go back again to the dynamic crm i just want to show you something over here if i go to john smith contact if i click on this link i am able to download that file over here okay if it is just a simple link you won't be able to download you need to invoke the data from azure to get this file so what i am doing over here is i am using get url attachment file from blog i am just passing file url and the name to this method here i am using blob uri and sas token method to get connected to blob service azure storage blob is one method to is one object to get connected to create blob service with sas once i am i am having blob service i am using get url method to get the downloadable link once i get the link i am making use of anchor tag to create a hyperlink and then i'm sending it back which is insert it into inner html of file tag thus it helps me to achieve download of the file which is stored in azure blob i hope this is web resource is pretty straightforward i am also going to mention the full code in my blog post so you can check it out from from there if you have any doubt just let me know i'll be there to help you out thanks guys this